Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will show to you how to control the Redux R by using ROS package. If you remember from the last video, we controlled it by using um, the commands by sending direct commands to every joint, and this is not efficient. If I wanted to send a uh, the gripper to some location, it is not efficient to give uh, a specific value to every joint in uh, the Redux R individually. In the other hand, I can create any C++ or Python program inside some ROS package and then running this program. So this is what we will do today here in our uh, video. So let's start. Today we will create, as I said, a ROS package. To create a package, first I want to go to the workspace that we created in last videos. So this name was Redux, so I will say change directory to the Redux. Redux. Then I will go to the source file. And inside the source file, I will use the command which is catkin create a package. This command is uh, responsible for creating ROS package and you will give it the name of the package and you will give it the packages that this package will depend on. Okay, so I will say catkin create package. Then I will call my uh, package, I will call it Redux arm testing and this package depends on which packages first it needs the standard package as we said last time to send any command the type of the message will be standard message float 64 so first I need the standard messages then I need uh, I will create a, a C++ program so I need ROS CBB and I also need the robotics Python package that we talk about talk about it last time that makes a, a interface between the R and the PC or the NUC by using the USB. So here it is a robotics Python. Okay. Um once we created, we should have it here in the home directory in the Redux package in the source. Here it is, Redux ARM testing. Inside this one, I will put my C++ file. You will find it here. You should download it and use it. This one, Redux ARM testing C++. So here, I already have it on my desktop. I just will copy it and paste it here. Once I did this step, I will make catkin main. So I will go back to the workspace, then catkin make. So let's now have a look what is this C++ program is doing. This C++ program is doing the following. First, it will make publisher to every uh, joint command that we talked about in the last video, that every joint have uh, a topic called joint underscore whatever the number from one to five, and the command, we use this, jo we use this uh, command, this topic to send the commands to every joint, okay? So this is to send the commands to every joint. And also, I from the surfaces, I have some surfaces that make relaxing for every joint. I also will use it here in my program. I here make specify some values. I said, okay, I want zero value, I want a positive value, and I want a negative value. I specify the positive value will be 0.25, and the negative value will be negative 0.25. The plan is it. It will be like this. I will send to every joint positive value, then negative value, then zero value to test that it works properly. properly. And at the end, I will 
relax all the joints okay so first i will move uh the robot the awidux arm to the home uh position which is zero for every uh joint which will be something like this it will be zero for every uh joint then i will test uh every joint individually i will give it to it positive value negative value then zero value okay so after i make cat can make i should here change some values in the c make list so it will work probably with properly with me okay you will find this here i should make this uh node as executable by using this command so here i will search for at executable and i will add it here and the last one to make link between the catkin libraries and my node so here i will copy this one and inside the cmake list i will search for the target target link yes this one and i will paste it here and then save and make it can make again then make sourcing now i can run this package by using ros run redux r testing which is the name of the package Testing, which is the name of the node. So before I, I do this step, I should have the controller running. Okay, so I will just run the controller first here in a new terminal. I will deactivate the anaconda here. You don't have to do this step. Then I will go to the Redux. I will make sourcing. And I will launch the controller. Okay. So everything here is okay. Let's run the node. As we said, it will make the home directory, home uh, position, then uh, test positive, negative, zero values for every joint, and at the end, it will relax all the joints. So let's run the, the node. So first, it will go to the home uh, position, as I said, zero to every uh, joint. Then it will take one by one and send positive value here, negative value, and zero value. So this is for the first joint. This is the second joint. Then the third joint. The fourth one, positive value, negative value, zero. The last joint before you join, and now it will make relaxing. You should hold your uh, Redux arm so it will not hit something when it's relaxing. That's it for this video. I want to show you how to use RAS package to uh, create a program that will send commands to the different joints of the Redux R. In the next video, I will show to you how to use Movit to deal with and control with uh, the Redux R. 
see you in the next video